welcome to Vidal Capital Market Updates. Market closing. Sensex closed 646 points or 1.16 percent higher at 38,840.32, while Nifty locked a gain of 171 points or 1.52 percent to settle at 11,449.25. BSE mid cap settled for 92% higher and the small cap index closed with a gain of 1.27%. Sensex went up by 646 point at 38,840. Nifty went up by 171 point at 11,449. Bank Nifty went up by 199 point at 22,466. Nifty mid cap 100 went up by 202 point at 16.653. And the Nifty Small Cap 100 went up by 88 point at 5,634. Now let's have a look about the commodities and currencies. The British pound is trading at rupees 95.65. The US dollar is trading at rupees 73.65. The Brent crude is trading at dollar 40.29. Gold MCX is trading at rupees 51,483. And the silver is trading at rupees 68,835. Indian indices again had a strong showing today backed by strong gains in the shares of RIL, which alone contributed to more than half of the gains seen on Nifty. Suitors lining up for the potential stake sale in Reliance Retail drove its gain today. Positive global cues also played a part in the broader positivity seen in the markets. European markets have turned cautious ahead of the ECB policy meeting happening today. Investors seem to have kept by the simmering border tensions on the back burner for now and in the absence of fresh triggers, we'll look at global markets and stock specific news for the direction. On a date when roughly was formally injected, RIL displayed the domin dominance in the index by crossing the mid cap of 15 lakh crore today. Asian pains and the three OMCs lend able support to the indices which rose on Thursday. The Indian equity benchmark indices broke a two-day losing streak with strong gains on September 10. Reliance was the start of a day, accounting for a very large part of the nifty gains. Volumes on the NSE were about recent averages. MFX tells PSU Bank did well while the metal index fell the most. The global stock markets were mixed Thursday after Wall Street rebounded after a three-day slam for the tech stocks. Asian markets ended mixed and the European markets remain in a tight range ahead of the ESB meet scheduled for Thursday. One European Central Bank policy emerged demand the hopes of fresh stimulus measures. Klaas Nord, the head of the Dutch Central Bank, told the European magazine that risk to the everyone's recovery had received, given economic data over the summer. Indonesia stocks fell by more than 5% on Thursday following an announcement that its capital city Jakarta will reinstate the partial lockdown measures to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Nifty has risen with an up gap and close above the recent resistance of 11,436. The level of 11,507 could provide the next resistance. The rally will have to be more broad based for it to sustain. The broader markets too witnessed a healthy momentum with mid cap and the small cap ending higher by 0.9% and 1.3% respectively. Apart from the global queues, the participants will now be closely eyeing the upcoming macroeconomic data, IIP CPI data for queues on economic recovery. Besides, the ongoing tensions between the India and China would also be on the investors' radar. We may use a further rebound and Nifty could take a breather around 11,520 levels. Traders should prefer stocks that are participating in the move rather than betting on underperforming the counters in anticipation of a rebound. Nifty kept about 11,450 levels today. We need to see if we can get past this tomorrow as this is a crucial resistance level for the markets. If we are unable to go past this tomorrow, we could revise 11,200 levels. If we cross it, we could move higher as a bear trades would then be stopped out and the bulls would take over. That's all for today. We'll be coming with tomorrow's market updates. See you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay home. Thank you.